Hello, this is Michael with Manhattan Rare Books. And what we have here today is one of the most exciting things I've handled, and it's not a book or manuscript. For those of you who grew up around electronics, you will recognize this as an oscilloscope. More precisely, the Tektronix 465 oscilloscope. It was considered a workhorse of the time and was the most popular oscilloscope in the 1970s. An oscilloscope, for the most part, measures voltage over time, and it allows you to actually see what's happening across circuits. It's an essential tool in electronics design. Well, that's all well and good. But this is not just any oscilloscope. This particular oscilloscope is a major part of computer history. It was used by Al Alcorn to invent Pong, now considered the birth of the home video game industry, and then lent by Alcorn to Steve Wozniak to invent the Apple II, which revolutionized home computing. And you'll see Al Alcorn wrote on the side here, used to design Pong and lent, whoop, lent to Oz to design Apple II, signed Al Alcorn. The story is that Alcorn, after inventing Pong, was working at Atari, and a young Steve Jobs was working under him. Jobs introduced Alcorn to Steve Wozniak, and this was a very lucky introduction in the history of computing. You see, Alcorn grew up fixing televisions. He actually paid his way through college as a TV repairman. And using the oscilloscope, he showed Wozniak a trick to create signals that would show his color when connected to a television screen. Wozniak ran with the idea. He borrowed this very oscilloscope and was able to add high-res color graphics to the computer he was working on. And it was the high-res color graphics that got the attention of investors in the Apple II and made it such a phenomenal success. A, tetron a Tektronix 465, by the way, cost $1,725 in the early 1970s, $10,000 in today's dollars. So you can see why Wozniak, who was working on a shoestring budget, would want to borrow rather than buy one at the time. And it comes with all the original cables, filters, instruction manual, as we will see. And it apparently works. Al Alcorn, have your letter of provenance, says that as last, last time he tested it, it worked. And, you know, I've been tempted to test it, but I don't want to mess with such an important part of history after all. Thanks. Please reach out to us with any questions.